This is the Man Rights Activist Podcast, episode 24, where we focus on relationships, sports, and pop culture from a man's point of view. First of all, we want to thank all of our listeners, each and every one. Ain't you happy for them, Kamal? Yes, sir. Uh, thanks for joining us, man. We really appreciate you hanging with the fellas. We got a fun one today, bruh. Yeah, man. We get into it, man. We're going to touch the R. Kelly. That's a little dangerous. Yeah, it's a little dangerous, man. And we're going to get into the Jeff Bezos divorce. Oh, okay. That's pretty controversial. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Offset is trying to get back with his wife, and we're going to let you know how he is making the big mistake in his approach to get his woman back. Go oh, do it, Offset. All that and more. Right now. This is the MRA Podcast with Kyle and Kamal. I am Kyle. I am Kamal. And we are saving relationships one listener at a time. We got some dates, Kamal. Word up. Madhouse in San Diego. I'll be there January 25th and 26th, 2019. Can I get a Pops update? Uh, Pops update. We have shored up the uh, the cast. <laughs> shored oh up the cast. God, man. Dude. The cast was a little shaky, man. It was a little shaky. Who was but... in the cast, about <laughs> me? <laughs> oh my god! The dude. wife and the son. Oh man, so you got everybody? Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, 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 Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. So I got everybody up on board, That's man. Amazing. Scripts are dynamic, man. <laughs> <laughs> Have we made any progress on the script? Uh, yeah, man. Good. Yeah, definitely. Um, so uh, honestly, man, we're uh we're ready to uh, to go back into production. We had okay, to halt. Good. We had to halt production. Halt production. Yes. That's what deal. it was, man. Yeah, we were yeah, in yeah. production and we had mm-hmm. to halt production, okay. but now we resume production. The cast is back okay, on board, and uh, we're good. Yeah, Coming we're soon. good, man. Yeah. Coming soon. Hey guys, I want to take this time to ask you to subscribe to The World According to Cheryl. That is Cheryl Underwood's podcast. It's hilarious and I'm on it. A lot has happened since the last episode. Come out with your bar. How much? R. Kelly. Oh my. R. Kelly thing came out. The Lifetime. The Surviving R. Kelly. Surviving R. Kelly came out. Now, you know, I didn't really want to touch on this. Mm -hmm. Because I am an R. Kelly fan. I am not an R. Kelly fan. Yes. And I wanted to touch on it, but I, I... Listening to everyone's reaction, I thought mm-hmm. maybe this might be dangerous. That's why I haven't said anything. Yeah, because I could. I I don't want to say something that I'll regret mm-hmm. because I'm an R. Kelly fan, so I'm an apologist. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like I'd rather just let everybody get there, get angry because I watched it as a fan and I was disappointed because I said, okay, yeah, my dude's a predator. I didn't see anything new. Like I knew about Aaliyah. I, I don't understand why people are, are outraged at things they already knew. I knew about Ali. I knew about the, the peeing. I, I already think, knew about that. Yeah, I think, man, honestly, I think fans or just people in general mm-hmm. were in in denial. Or yes. they just like, you know, they just they just forgot. It's yes. like a haze. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. No, 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 no BS, man. It was like this man was married to a, what, 15-year-old girl? Yes. Which, which... So, Which listen, listen. I mean, Elvis was married to a thirteen-year-old girl. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, this man was married to a fifteen-year-old girl. So anything, any story or rumor or allegation after that, yeah, <laughs> but, after that, well, and they, they still rocking with him. It was like a bunch of R. Kelly jokes. Everybody, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. you know, R. Kelly likes the young girls. I mean, it was people knew. The thing that bothers me is, it's the angry mob mentality. So the angry mob tells you who to be mad at. Mm-hmm. Because if the angry mob, all the angry mob has to do is find somebody else with a p- problem and we'll be mad at them. We're we're cool with them until the angry mob tells us to be mad. Well, he predated the Me Too movement. Yeah. And it was like somebody was sitting around like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah. Wait a, wait mm-hmm. a minute. Yeah. What about this guy? And he's not the he's just he's the next one because the same thing happened to Bill Cosby. All the Bill Cosby stuff was already on the internet. Mm-hmm. Hannibal was like, "Google Bill Cosby rapist." Yeah. That's all he said. Mm-hmm. It's already out. The next guy who's going to fall, your stuff is already out. Mm-hmm. Enough people just have to get mad enough at you, mm-hmm. and you're and you're going down. Oh yeah, like like uh, Woody Allen, I'm sure. He's he's, like, he's oh, nervous right now. Yeah, oh, Michael Jackson's yeah. like, thank God I'm dead. Yeah. So the thing I said I noticed is yes, I do believe R. Kelly is a predator. 
Um, I do believe that he, I think he's sick in the mind because all I have to ask myself is, would I do it? I wouldn't. I would not be with a 17-year-old girl. I would not be with an 18-year-old girl. I would not be with a 19-year-old girl. It's just not me. Mm-hmm. I can see how he'd be physically attracted to that because they look good. Mm-hmm. But I would not do it. So that's why I always have to remember, would you do it? No. So why not? Because I, I think that's predatory behavior. Yeah. I think the dude is definitely sick. I mean, he talked about him being abused and whatnot. Yeah. The issue I have with the whole R. Kelly thing... Um, is if you can get him on a crime, yes, then prosecute the dude. Please do. If you can't get him on a crime, then you just don't like you don't like the lifestyle. Yes, you know you don't like the fact that he's quote unquote brainwashing yes. women. <laughs> hey man, like I saw one of was like thirty three years old. Come on, man, you can't really brainwash a thirty. I mean, you can. I mean, what I'm saying is. Yeah. Like, it garnered my sympathy. Well, see, I'm worse because you can't see. Yeah, you can't get you can't get my sympathy either. Yeah. And then my thing is like everybody's angry. They're like, cancel, cancel your career. My thing is, dude, if the dude is 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 um, guilty of a crime, put him in jail. Yeah. Let him serve his time, mm-hmm. and when he gets out. Take him to the studio because that's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Tupac got out. What do we do? We send him to the studio. Yeah. There's certain things that people do. What he do, that's what he does. Mm-hmm. I don't like this whole mindset of your career's over. No, 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 no. Let him make his music. The people want to buy it. Should be able to buy it. Well, yeah, I think that's what it is. It's yeah. like, well, maybe his uh, label might drop him, but sure. nobody will ever stop him from recording. He'd be, he'll have a hard time getting the shit out but to people, the masses. But they're shaming people. Like that's the the, the thing right now is I'm going to shame you for listening to that. Like don't listen. Listen. If you're disgusted, like I can't listen to uh, the. Seems like you're ready. I haven't been able to listen to that for years though, because <laughs> it always felt a little creepy to me. Mm-hmm. It always felt like even when I was in junior high listening to it, I was thinking, eh, nigga, you ain't talking to an adult. Like, are you ready to go all the way? You don't, Why would you say that to a grown-up? Mm-hmm. It just always felt weird. Yeah. So I never, I always, I, I couldn't. And then when all this shit came out, and I started listening, thinking about certain songs, like Your Body's Calling Me, I started, it just felt kind of pushy and creepy. Some of my favorite songs, especially for the early two albums, I'm like, oh yeah, he was talking to a child. Oh yeah, he was talking to a child. Ugh. So it does make me, so my point is, if it makes you feel uncomfortable to listen, don't listen. Mm-hmm. But if, I, I listened. Then I listened to the next album, the the church album. It was almost like a gospel album where he has like, "You remind me of my Jeep." I have no problem with that. Well, yeah, bang that. Like you should be able to bang what you want to bang. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say like in that era, mm-hmm. even before that, Cass made a lot of questionable songs <laughs> about like underage girls and stuff like that. Just LL Cool J, like Come the on. big old butts and Come stuff on. like that. Yeah, He's yeah, yeah. like, yo, she's only 17, but yeah. yo, don't sleep or yeah. something like that. Yeah. You know, uh, BBD, yeah. Backstage Underage. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think New Edition B- had one too with Heartbreak. He yeah. had a verse where she was, I didn't know if she was only 15 or 16 years Yeah, old. the Beastie Younger Boys. It's, it goes like, on Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of rap songs, dudes hanging out at the high school. Uh, Karis Wynn had a song called 13 and Good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like, R. Kelly is is the latest creep because maybe because we know about his yeah. his but, his acts, but dudes was rhyming about the stuff. Jerry Lee Lewis had like a fourteen year old chick. Yeah, Elvis, yeah, yeah, moved Priscilla when she was fourteen years old. Yeah, come on, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I mean, it's natural to be attracted to a younger woman. The way they look at you, the way their body, I mean, they're, they, they're absolutely designed naturally. That's when they're most fertile, like just nature wise. That's mm-hmm. when they're most fertile. Like, I get that part. I get that part. But in our in our society, we don't play that, which I get. No. Kels took it too far, though. And, and here's the thing about it. My thing about people like Kels, that's why, that's why I have to say he's sick. Yeah. Because Kells, like you said, like the the way they look at you, mm-hmm. Kells can get a, a thirty year old woman to look at him that way. True, that's twenty five year old woman to look at him. That's that way. a good point. You know what I'm saying? The man's a musical genius, yes. and when you're a genius, people treat you as such. Yes, and they marvel to be in your presence. I know dudes who have probably look at this man like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm standing next to R. Kelly. I'm having a conversation with R. Kelly. Think about a younger woman is you don't have to hear you ain't my daddy. 
He don't have to hear that. Well, the thing about it is if he's looking for a stable, mm-hmm. 15, 20, 30 women, yeah. he might have to sift through a lot of that. Yeah. You ain't my daddy. Yeah. But he can find 20 women that would do, ex- 20 grown yeah. ass women who yes. would do exactly what he wants. I have no problem with the stable. I yeah. love the stable. Yeah. I do believe some of his, his tactics are a little abusive. You know, yeah. making them knock on the door to get out. Like, I here's the thing. When I watch the thing, I'm like, man, come on, dog. You can't have your woman have to knock on the door to get out the door. You can't have her shitting on the pot. You know what I mean? You can't talk. To, you can't do it like that. And then my woman says something to me, and I'm like, she gets smart or, or, or cuss me down. I'm thinking, oh, yeah, it would be nice if she had a knock on the door to get out. <laughs> <laughs> it sure would be nice to have full yeah. control to not have to deal with that kind of disrespect. See, with because my, my wife was watching it, and yeah. I was in and out. You yeah, know, I'm yeah. interested in stuff like of that. Course. But uh, where they lost me uh-huh. with the where, Every single last one of them lost me is when I found out they could leave. That's what killed me. <laughs> one of the second. women was like, I had enough. I was tired of it. So you know what I did? I packed my stuff up and I left. And I was like, "That that's it? I what? thought she was going to say, I packed up. I had a juke. I had yeah, a job. I had to I sneak had to out. Yeah. More. No, you walked out the door and that's the end of the story? That's the end of your You dealings. just walked out the front door. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> what? Because I was telling my wife, I was like, oh, man. Cause I was like, they can get him on a kidnapping charge. Yeah. Like, no, I don't think he's kidnapping. I'm like, wait, what? No. I was like, they can get him on a kidnapping charge. He's keeping them. Like, like they can get him. Yeah. Oh, R. Kelly's about to do some OJ time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, no, wait, they can leave? This is where this is where it kills me. This is where it kills me. How everybody's outrage kills me. We can be mad about the fourteen year olds, even though y'all already knew about that. We can be mad about Aaliyah, even though y'all already knew about that. What you can't get me is him having the harem right and using mind control to keep him. Because when we get back, I'm gonna explain to you how women have been using mind control to get over on women and to get over on dudes. And there's a woman that's doing it right now. She's killing it. And y'all <laughs> celebrating this, bro. You listening to the MRA podcast with Colin? Come out. Are you yelling at your radio right now? You know, what the hell are you saying? You wrong, Kyle. You wrong, Kamal. Yeah. Or, 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 right, right. That's what I'm talking about. Word, yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, then tweet us. Stop what you're doing unless you're driving. Stop what you're doing. Hit us right now. Respond to us. You know, just talk to us right now. Let us know yeah. how you feel. I'm at Kyle Irby. I'm at Angry Kamal. Or you can hit us both at The MRA Podcast and let your voice be heard. Yeah, man. You know, so we'll read it. We might even respond. And you just might hear it on the show. Yeah, man. Be a celebrity for a day. <laughs> yes, <Yeah, so> man. <laughs> just, just stop what you're doing. Hit us up, man. You, you'll get a response. Yes, sir. There's a woman, Kamal Abdul Jabbar, that has been hustling dudes for a while. Very long time. Her name is Lauren Sanchez. Yeah. Y'all know her as the other woman in Jeff Bezos' divorce. <laughs> kick, kick the resume for me, Kamal. Got Tony Gonzalez. Okay. Hall of Fame tight end. Yeah. If not now, he will be. Oh, yeah. Very, very soon. Yeah. Uh, greatest of all time. Of course. Henry Simmons, uh, actor, big, strong, uh, handsome guy, was on NYPD Blue. Mm-hmm. Uh, then she married Patrick Whitesell, super agent. Super duper agent. Super duper agent. Mm-hmm. Top clientele list. Mm-hmm. And now she's managed to move on up. To the top. Yeah. I mean, like, how do you, you, you get past the super agent? Yeah. How do you get bigger than the super agent? Well, the Trump card. Boom. Yeah. Not Donald Trump. Not Donald Trump. And that would have been. That would have been the Trump card. Yeah. That would have been. <laughs> that would have been pretty big. Yeah, that would have been pretty big. But she actually went bigger when it comes bigger to wealth. Bigger than Trump. Bigger than President Trump. Jeff Which Bezos. Mm, mm, the mm. richest man in the world. $137 billion. $137 37 billion. Now, if you don't tell me that that she is using her mind control because she's what, 50 years old now? 49. She's 49 years old. So mm-hmm. it ain't it ain't like she the coldest one in, nah. in she she's not a spring chicken. No. Nah. So how is she getting all these dudes? Uh according to page 6, uh somebody says she's a real guy's girl. She's fun. She's fun. Yeah. But it's not just that she's fun. When she was younger, she was broke. Mm. All right. She used to, you know, sleep in the car. You know, they, her parents, her mom was like cleaning, cleaning, you know, houses and shit. So in her mind, she always knew that she wanted to score a big fish. Mm. And she started with Tony Gonzalez and then she kept moving her way up. 
mm-hmm. and she uses her mind because I mean she uses her body, but it's not just the body; it's the mentality of how to get these dudes, and she gets them on the hook. Mm-hmm. And the last dude she got on the hook, and then now she's upgrading on this dude. Yeah, and and why I feel sorry for this guy is the same week that the R. Kelly story came out. It came out that Bezos was getting a divorce, one hundred thirty-seven billion dollars, and he's gonna have to give his wife half of a hundred. And thirty-seven. I hope not. He's gonna get have to give his wife. Half I hope not of a hundred and thirty-seven billion dollars because of Lauren Sanchez. He will no longer be the richest man in the world. Nope. And guess what? <laughs> his wife will all of a sudden be in the top five just because of the divorce. At sixty-eight point five billion, she's now one of the top five. And and women are celebrating like, yeah, girl. Get that money. I don't like it. That's robbery. I do not like it. Y'all mad at Rob, but y'all don't mind this robbery. Yeah. Because that's what it is. Yeah, I don't like it. Because here's the thing about it, man. Like, after a certain amount of money, like, her lifestyle doesn't change. It's not going to change. Not at all. He can give her a billion dollars. Mm-hmm. And she will, and that's generational wealth. She's yes. good. Yeah. She doesn't need. give her one of the billion yeah, dollars. She doesn't need half. Yeah, no, no, she doesn't no, even no, have. No. Even if she was married to him from day one, I see, and she took care of the kids, mm-hmm. I seriously doubt changing all the diapers. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying driving them to soccer practice, on, helping man. them with the homework is worth more than a billion dollars. It's not. But that's the thing. When you talk to women about this, their mindset is like, who do you think was talking to him all them late nights? So you think a therapist would charge a billion dollars? Yeah. No. No. Bill that. Who do you think was there all his nights? Who do you think was having sex with him? So how much do you think that cost? Yeah. If he was having, if you, if you build them. they itemized all of that. Every time y'all Therapy sessions. How much is sex sex, if you're fucking a prostitute? I don't know how much it costs. I don't know. If they itemized it, I don't think they would get to a billion. Let's call it $500 every time they had sex. Yeah. $500 every time they had sex. Mm -hmm. How about every time he talked to you about your problems? That's a therapy session. Yeah. Right? How much is therapy? I don't know. I ain't been to therapy. You probably need it. Yeah. I don't know. Let's say high end, two hundred thousand dollars. Let's call it five hundred an hour. Yeah. So every hour he talked to you about his problems, five hundred an hour. Itemize it, please. <laughs> itemize the child care. And item give it a crazy number. <laughs> give it the craziest number. <laughs> Ladies, stop thinking you deserve half the dough because you was there for him. You no. gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, I mean, cause honestly, I can say, give her a, a billion dollars. Give her a bill ticket. Yeah. Bob Johnson's wife, when she got a divorce, yeah. she became the first black billionaire. Yeah. Woman. Based from what? Yeah. Because here's the thing about it, man. Honestly, even if she was the secretary, even if she was typing for him, yeah. even if she was like licking the, the envelopes yeah. and stuff like that, getting, stamping getting stuff. Getting paper cuts on her lip. Yeah. Yeah. It's not worth half no. of the business if no. he is the brains yes, behind it. That's all I'm saying. It, he, that's why I respect Oprah. Yeah. Oprah made her money from Oprah's brain yeah. and Oprah's hustle, yeah. not off the back of a dude. Yeah. It, this, this woman hating thing is so hot, right? All this, I mean, sorry, the man hating thing is so yeah. hot. All this man bashing, man, ain't she with you? Whoop. Why are you celebrating this woman that's going to become a billionaire off the back of a dude? Yeah. Where's your ideas? I gave up my career. Oh, so your career was going to lead to $67 billion? Yeah. That's what you think? No. Nah. Stop it. This man created the most profitable business yeah. in the world. In the history of the world. In the history This motherfucker was delivering books. Yeah. Now they deliver everything. Yeah. They taking out Toys R Us. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. The holiday season. Sears is going down. Macy's. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. JCPenney. Swack. Kmart, no, Amazing. yeah, we coming. Kmart, nigga, watch out. Da, da. Yeah, everything, Everybody. everything. Uh, what was the the? Uh, oh, let me guess. He couldn't have done it without his wife's support, right? You must be fucking crazy. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. When I saw like he got married in the community property state, I was like, so. I I hope. I hope he gives her a bit, maybe ten. T- nigga, no. no. I'm just saying. Not I have That's is crazy. have is crazy. I don't care if he was flat ass broke when they got married. I don't give a I don't care if he was in debt. 
<laughs> the only way I think she deserves this money, any of the money, more than a bill, is if she gave him the loan to start the company. If somebody could tell me that she was the one that gave him the loan to start the company, I'll be like, hey, I ain't got nothing to say. Well, if he paid her back. <laughs> <laughs> now, I would say, honestly, man, if they started the company together. Yes. And then when the kids came, she backed off. Yes. Like, like it was the, it was, it was, it was her the, idea it was, and his idea. It was their brainchild. Yeah, nah. And then she, because obviously raising the kids, yeah. she couldn't go as ham as he could. Yeah, exactly. Like, okay. But I don't see tech in her resume. But if she was like, hey, what you doing over there, honey? I'm starting this business. Oh, okay. I got you. I'm a block for you with these kids. Yeah. Okay. Let me okay. know how that turns out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. You that's great. It. That's great, honey. Yeah, Good yeah, idea. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'll tell all my friends about it. Yeah. Hell no. That's not half. No. That ain't worth half. That is not. Stop it. But that's what I mean. It's like ladies are celebrating this like it's a victory. And to me, it's just as foul you're robbing somebody of half of the, of half of sixty seven billion dollars. Man, that ain't cool. And Lauren Sanchez is about to take advantage of this man. Yeah. <laughs> she's, oh, he's about to. Is she gonna, oh, he's going to marry her. I'll say Patrick Whitesell mm-hmm. is probably the happiest man on earth right now. Oh, because he ain't got to pay alimony. Oh my gosh, he's like, thank God, thank God. But what's dirty is they were friends. You know what I mean? They was I neighbors. think he sent her his way. He sent her to Bezos' way because I think like uh, to do like some story or work on like yeah. some business because I think because it, Bezos had the movie the movie that won the Oscar with the uh, home the brother what's the brother uh, Matt not not Matt Damon yeah Matt Damon no I mean oh Casey Affleck Casey I'm sorry Affleck. they did some business together mm-hmm. and he was hey he ba- hey, hey baby go over there and and, and do a story yeah mm-hmm. he sent her I know he's like ah oh, damn I, I didn't, didn't send you to do that. as a matter of fact homie if anybody should get some of this billion. I need some of that because I sent you. I'm the hey, I'm I, I need a finder's fee. <laughs> I need a finder's <laughs> fee. That's the only way we're gonna make this right. You break me off. Let me let me say this before we we change the subject. Um, I don't like that he played on his wife with this chick. I don't like it, man. Well, you don't like, like uh, Bezos is uh, nah, no, you don't take like another man's uh. No, first of all, I don't like that he took another man's wife. No. Flag on the play. Definite. But I don't like that he played on his wife with this chick. Like I get needing a side piece, man. But I hate to see a man get worked. And I feel like he's getting worked, man. I get it. Maybe his wife was boring or whatever, whatever. It's hard to be the same woman for 25 years. But, man, dog, I hate to see a dude get beat. And he's getting beat. Yeah. I mean, she probably won't leave him. She doesn't have to. Who? Sanchez. So it's not like she's going to get him for his money. She basically just positioned herself yeah, man. into the big house. Yeah. She just elbowed her way in, man. Yeah. She, 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 she basically... Hop the line in the club. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Politic her way. That's what bothers me. Yeah. Like an OG dog. She was there from the get go, man. As much as I don't like these gold diggers out there, man, I got a soft spot in my cold black heart for the OGs, man. Oh, definitely. The the day ones deserve a uh, a permanent spot. You goddamn right. She deserves a permanent spot. I'm not mad at at, at McKenzie. That's the OG. Because he made those. Yeah. 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 Nah, man. Like, hey. She got a good attitude about her, too. Yeah. But she might be scorned. Like, oh, mm-hmm. I'll leave. Now I'm going to need half of that. Or t- talk to my yeah, my diversity. Yeah. And, and she, because she's salty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which well, she should be. Yeah, she should be salty. But like, ah, pump the brakes on, on the asking the asking price. Yeah, you know. You know. But Bezos is foul because nobody... 25 years, they have adult kids. She was there before this dude was broke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like he was like some... Before he before he came up. Yeah. He yeah. wasn't like he was like some high school athlete. He wasn't like she was... He was like this, you know, or some big time Hollywood it was actor. All, it was all mental. He had mental right. talent. You know what I'm saying? So she fell in love with the man. Thank God. She didn't fall in love with the dude that could do a back backflip dunk. In yeah. the gym and had everybody going crazy. She didn't fall in love with like Blake Griffin and like no, that. No, yeah, like, I mean, like, 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 like twenty two year old Blake Griffin. Yeah, I mean, it, obvious, right? Yeah, she went to an intellectual genius, an intellectual talent before Silicon Valley popped. Right. So much respect to her. Yeah, and so she fell in love with the man, and so it bore fruit. It bore a hell of a lot of fruit. It sure did. And so you don't kick that to the curb no. because the new shiny young no. You, you don't know do that, bro. Flag on the plate, bro. Now, I, I, get, get I get if you if he needed the side piece. Yes, but he was he took the chick to the Golden Globes. Dude, that's foul. He's out at like public. They see they man. seen like 
You she, know, he's infatuated she, with this chick. Yeah, and she got in his head. And here's the thing about it, man. As a married woman, why are you like, you know what I'm saying, up there smooching and hugged up in public? Yeah, man. She's and got like. is and she, in Hollywood. And, she, and she's got school age kids. Ain't, these kids ain't grown. Nah. Yeah, you I don't watch out for the character. These, yeah, these I don't. I don't beaches, see, dog. Yeah, I don't. I don't mm. see how this is like somebody who is uh, reputable. This isn't She's somebody. Not. This isn't a solid person you bring She's around. Not. That's the problem. When you start to notice a woman ain't solid, yeah, it, it just makes you your, your stomach turn against it. You're like, wait a minute. It takes a while. Yeah. By the time he realizes she ain't solid, she's smart enough to already be married. Yeah, mm. I I expected. I expect somebody like Basil. Anybody. To roll around in the hay with her. Absolutely. Yeah. But you know the problem is Bezos is, is he's never been a Mac. No. He's not used to somebody that sexy. He's not used to that, man. His girlfriend, his wife is a, is is she's 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 prudish. She's yeah. you know what I mean? She's the type of wife that you want. But she's not gonna help him out in in she's not gonna help him out with the sexy factor. Yeah, his she go- can try, but she ain't doing that. His guards wasn't up. His nah, shield his man. shield, his blockers, his shields nah. ain't up. Yeah, if he talked to us, we would have told him, Hey, listen, man. First of all, don't smash such a nigga's wife. Yeah. Second of all, man, if you gotta smash a freak, man, smash the freak and punt this bitch as far as you can. Yeah. Get that shit out of you, man. And, and come on, man. Don't fuck don't cause he, I swear to God he gonna regret this shit. Yeah. He gonna regret this shit because his he he's he's leaving a day one OG for a floozy. Good luck with that player. Yo, Kamal. What's up? I finally finished my album, dog. The one you did in 2013. Yeah, man. <laughs> I know, okay. man. A long time ago, man. But I, you know, I said, you know what? I'm gonna finish this album. This thing is coming out eventually. Eventually, you know, you, you gotta finish. You can't give up. I can dig it. And eventually, it's finally here. Eventually, it's finally arrived, man. And okay. I was listening to it, man. This thing was funny, dude. Okay, it's not dated. No, no, no jokes about chingy there, or nothing there like that. There is some dated jokes in there, yeah. like, uh, like there's a reference to. It was before Michael Sam came out. Because oh. it was like a reference to gay athletes that came out, and I okay. was like, "Wow, that's dated." Okay, but the but the juxt of it is is yeah, everything's good. Bruce Jenner still, yeah, is I, Caitlin, I, is yeah, Caitlin? He's still no, he's Bruce, and he's album. Bruce. <laughs> I don't talk about him, <laughs> but he was Bruce. Yeah, I used to have a Bruce Jenner joke, and he was Bruce, <laughs> and this when I recorded this. But no, nah, it's, it's it's ready, man. It's out. Okay. It's funny, man. Check it out and get it on iTunes right now. It's called Be a Man at All Times. I got to give you your props, Kamal. Yep. I, you said you were going to bring, I didn't, I edited this part out. I'm going to tell the audience right now. I was berating you on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> were you? But yes. Cause I was like, man, you're not going to bring it. Cause we brought up that there was a woman who sued after a breakup. Mm-hmm. And then it gets to the part where you say that and it kind of gets edited out. They they can't tell it's edited out, but it's edited out. Cause I was listening and sometimes I hear myself and I'm like, come on, man, you, you don't, you don't, you, you sound kind of rude right now, dog. Huh. Cause I was like, Man, you ain't gonna bring the. You ain't gonna bring it. I'm not gonna have the proof. Nah, I should. I should play it right now. I don't. I don't have my 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 facts straight right now. But I heard recently of some daters, mm-hmm. you know, getting sued. Please find that for next week. I will definitely have that next week. Don't say you're gonna have it. Just say you look for it. You have it. Yeah, I mean, if I if I if I, if, if, if you gave me if you gave me five minutes, I mean, I don't know. Okay, no, have me five minutes yeah, thinking yeah. right now. No, no, but no, no. no. I've, I've been a dick. Yeah, I next can, week. Yeah, man. All right, we, I don't want to lie to the audience. Okay, not next week then. <laughs> I'm sick. We gonna try this. I'm it'll be a treat when I bring. Out. It'll be a treat when I if I, when I bring <laughs> Just, it. Okay, so that was me saying you weren't really gonna bring the 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 story mm-hmm. and then you showed up today and you had the story i have the story what's the story well after uh so a woman sues her husband her, her fiance yes after uh breaking off their engagement for fifty thousand dollars and she won <sighs> she won disgusting yeah man so apparently um this guy gave her a ten thousand dollar ring mm-hmm. and I guess they were engaged. Mm-hmm. Uh, he got caught cheating, mm-hmm. and somehow I guess the uh, relationship—I don't know the the details as far as like who broke up with who—are a little sketchy. Mm-hmm. But long story short, she sued mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. breach of contract, mm-hmm. uh, breach of promise to marry. 
contract, <laughs> and she won 50 Gs. He tried to fight it. He tried to fight it, but he his tried defense to fight. was horrible. Well, his defense was like, I gave her a ring. I never said I was going to marry her. Dummy. Yeah. like Really, uh, buddy? He tried to do some cool thing I thought you would enjoy. He was saying like, hey, listen, man, I figured the ring, because uh, I guess she quit her job. Yeah. But she got to live in the house for yeah, free. We had a course. kid and all that stuff. She mm-hmm. didn't have to work. Of course. Hey man, that's a hell of a deal. I figured that was a good enough deal. It was. I should be able to do whatever I needed to do. Yeah, but that's got to be in the contract, man. Yeah, that's got to be upfront, dude. You, the, the, this to me, you know, times up. Me too. Times up for lying to these women and making them think <laughs> for real though. I mean, times up for lying to these women and making them think they're getting X and they're getting Y. Mm. Nah, bro. I mean, you dog. You shouldn't have to do that, man. You obviously got it going on, man. You shouldn't have to lie, man. Just tell them the deal, and if they with it, they with it. They not with it, they not. Yeah, see, the thing about it is, man, it's to, if they're not with it, it's easier said than done, especially if you like this particular That's chick. That's the problem. Like, I like this one. I don't want to go out and try to either find one, or I know I can't find one as good as this one. Well, the, the, it's funny you say that, because that brings us to the next story. What's up? Because my guy Offset. Mm-hmm. I think he's in that exact same predicament. He 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 has one that he loves, mm-hmm. but he don't want to let her go. But I'm telling you right now, I'm going to tell you when we get back why I think his method to get Cardi B, I think he's making a big mistake. Can I have your attention, please? We are trying to start a movement. You heard that right. We started a movement. We're doing something different here at the MRA Podcast. We vibing with y'all. You know what I'm saying, fellas? You know what I'm saying, ladies? It ain't just fellas that listen to the show. Matter of fact, it's the majority of women, but it's all good. I know you know somebody that fits with what we try to do over here. So all we need you to do is send it to them. Tell a friend. You know what I'm saying? That somebody know how we get down here at the MRA show, 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 show. It's really called the podcast, but I, I just wanted to rhyme no and show. All right, man. Offset and Cardi B looks like they're on their way back right now. We okay. predicted it on the MRA podcast that she'd be back. It's starting to look good. Okay, cool. I mean, even though she did take off the ring, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, you know, according to TMZ, that he's Offset is vowing to change his ways. But I have, a, I have a problem. Let me tell you what he's doing right, all right? What Offset is doing right. Uh, he has value, mm-hmm. right? Uh, he invested early-ish. I mean, she's they got together in her early 20s. So it ain't really early, but it's early enough. And they have a kid together. It's her first kid. He apologized for what he did. He embarrassed himself in public. Yeah. He's actively sh- telling everybody, I want my wife back. That's mm-hmm. all great. Where he's messing up is, according to TMZ, he is promising to be faithful. Mm. And this is why in the last story I said, this is a mistake. Because... When you promise to be faithful, that puts yourself in a corner. And the reason why he's promising to be faithful because he wants his wife back. Yeah. It's like you said with the last guy. He wants her. Mm-hmm. And when you lock on to wanting her, now you're willing to compromise. You'll do anything to have her. You just want your goal. You'll say some stuff you don't really mean. You'll say some stuff. You well, he mean, might mean it at the you time. You mean it at the time. Right, right, right. But let me explain to you when we get right back why a guy like Offset is in trouble. If he makes his promise. Hey, what's up, man? I just had to take a time away from the podcast to let you know. If you want an MRA hat, you can get you one. You know why? Because we got them for sale. 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 You can get you one in red, blue, black, whatever you want. Just go to the website, themrapodcast.com. That is themrapodcast.com and get you one. There's an article in Psychology Today that says um, most women do love sex, but desire can be easily derailed by tiredness, resentment, or the physiological problems or pain of menopause. All right, that's not the point. In fact, Without the um, psychological driver of testosterone, the main task for women is to turn off the inner brakes. So in other words, a woman's biggest sex organ is her brain. So she has to turn off the brakes to get sex, according to sex therapist Emily Nagoski. I don't know how to say her name. Anyway, so in her mind, she's got the distractibility of the laundry. She's got the children. She's got the work. You know, women always got all these things going on in their head. 
or the in inhibiting voices inside her telling her no because of the history of religion or whatever. Women often come to bed willing to have a good sexual experience, but not really wanting or craving sex until aroused. And sometimes get into the peak of arousal can be a bumpy climb for many women. It may take 45 minutes. Let me tell you something, dog. When you're a guy like Offset, who's used to having ass whenever he wants, mm -hmm. you ain't trying to spend 45 minutes to turn your wife on. <laughs> it's not happening. Not, a not, on, not on the daily. Not on the daily. And that's what a lot of men have to deal with, especially after a while. First few years, of course, she's hot. But after, it's, you know, especially like if, I mean, women always have all this shit going on in their mind. That's why women's number one sex organ is their mind. That's why Cart. That's why. That's why it's hard for a guy like Offset to be married because he's not. He's not used to having to fight for sex. Mm -hmm. Sex is, falls in his lap. Now Bezos, he used to not get none. Yeah. So he has a different problem. Once women kind of know who he is, he's like he's 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 at risk. Yeah. But Bezos honestly can probably walk down the street. And not get recognized. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why it's easier for him to be faithful. Because when his wife, when he has to spend 45 minutes of turning his wife on every night, he it's not like he has other options in the tank. No. But offset, all he has to do is go to work, which is a concert. Yeah. He's got 50,000 screaming women. Oh, he could just go outside, go, go anywhere out. in public. Yeah. Especially where his, his target audience is. Yeah. And they're going to go screaming and they're throwing the panties at him. That's the weird thing. Like even allegedly after R. Kelly, all this R. Kelly ain't shit coverage. There were women allegedly screaming when he did. A, he did a club appearance. Kidnap me. Right. Like screaming that. Anyway, my point is when you're offset and and you run into the 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 problem of your woman not wanting to have sex all the time. That's when marriage gets hard. Yeah, I think it was a it was a big time mistake for him to promise uh, to be faithful. Mm -hmm. That's a tough promise for a, a, a world class superstar. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Especially like a young guy. Mm -hmm. He's not at like you know Mick Jagger's age where people make jokes about it. And even yeah. like somebody like Mick Jagger in the seventies probably still mm -hmm. has like. You know what I'm saying? To, to fight off like a 25 or 30 year old, yes, right? Yes. But somebody like offset, you don't make that promise. What you promise, offset, I would make the promise, I'll never embarrass you. Mm, that's nice. You I know what I'm saying? Best not to embarrass yeah, you. yeah, I promise not to humiliate you. Yes. That's you know? really what the problem is. Yeah. Yeah. Because honestly, yeah, uh, offset was sloppy. Don't get sloppy. Don't get sloppy because this is the thing about it. I think a lot of these rappers, athletes, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, uh, probably do have concubines. Yeah, of course, as they should. But we know about the sloppy ones. Yeah. Yeah. We're, it's, it's like, like how many, you know. Bezos got sloppy. Yeah, uh, Bezos. Yeah, be not even got sloppy. He was he was flagrant. He was his. flagrantly yeah. disrespectful. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was disrespectful. All right, guys. Now it's time for the lesson of the day. If you're in a situation where you and your girl are broken up, you have to remember before you before you do what Offset does, go in there and negotiate exactly what you want. Because right now, all bets are off. You already lost her. Mm -hmm. You got to be confident that you'll either, that she still loves you. You know what I mean? You've done the work. You have to believe in your product, especially when you're as valuable as Offset, as valuable as Kobe Bryant, as valuable as LeBron James. Do not get afraid and start giving yourself a bad contract at the renegotiation point. This is the time to say, this is exactly who I am. Mm -hmm. I love you. We have to figure out a way where I can get my needs met, which means an occasion, some occasional side puss, and you can still be Mrs. Kobe Bryant or you can still be Mrs. Bezos. Like we need to make sure because or Mrs. Offset because I, I can't sign up for yeah. 50 years of blue balls. Yeah, I think Kobe, I think Kobe, occasional pussy. Go ahead. I think Kobe just cleaned it up. He just, you know what I'm saying, cleaned his game up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think he cleaned his game up. I think, um, uh, uh, Tiger Woods, you know, never got a chance because he was so sloppy. Yeah, 
he never got a chance. Ego. To, yeah, he never got a chance to clean his game up. That's ego. It was like he had, you know, everybody in the world was looking at his wife like, what you going to do? Yeah. She had to leave. Plus, she wasn't really down anyway. She she that she wasn't an early investor. Nah. But what she I'm saying like is, Bezos. I'm saying like basically it was humiliating. Yeah, you it was know humiliating. What I'm she she had to she had to make a move. Uh-huh. I think, you know, offset, if he wants, I don't know if it's ego, mm-hmm. he's gotta have the baddest chick in the game, he probably will just say anything because honestly, there this, at, when you get to like somebody like Cardi B, mm-hmm. just status wise, yeah. there's not too many other options for you. Yeah. As far as like status, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Beyonce's taken, Kardashian's taken, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these chicks, Alicia Keys is taken. Now, mm-hmm. now obviously they're they're much older yes. than what he's looking for mm-hmm. at at, you know, as far as age wise, there is nobody there is that nobody. that can rival Cardi. No, there's not. If you're trying to get like the hottest chick in the game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't just like Do you think he loves her or do you think uh, that status is I don't know. Ways? Yeah. I don't know. I'm saying like as far as him like fighting to keep her. Yeah. Plus, like you say, he calls her uh calls her nigga. Uh, bruh. Oh bro. 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 That like 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 the hominess yeah. of it. Mm. You know That's hard when you lose a homie. Yeah, man. So I can I can see him. Just saying whatever. whatever I takes. wish she wouldn't because it's like she's probably going to hold him to that. Now, I don't, Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. You, you know, said like, this. You have leverage too, dog. Yeah. She misses you. She says she misses the dick. She, You're the baby daddy. Like, I know you want to push. You just want it back. But man, ain't nothing worse than when your heart is broken. You just, you can't breathe, man. You just want the oxygen back. Whatever I got to do to get this oxygen back. You know, how, you know how dudes are, man. We'll say whatever it takes to get the ass. But Cardi B's not a piece of ass. But we'll say whatever it, it takes to just turn the oxygen back on. You know what, man? I was in a barber shop years uh-huh. ago. Okay. Years ago. I was talking to this uh, young lady. Mm-hmm. And I love how you say years ago. Because I always feel like <laughs> he's about to say something incriminating every time. No, 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 no. This is, honestly, mm-hmm. this is like one of those things I, I was married, uh, my first wife. Okay. And so, honestly, when I was married, man, I was just so comfortable talking to to women because mm-hmm. I was it was like no uh, no agenda. Yeah, you, you had know what no saying? agenda. I had no agenda. Okay, you're in the barbershop years ago. You're talking to a chick. Talking to this chick, man, and she was the most honest woman I've ever encountered. Mm-hmm. And she said, when when uh, a woman has unprotected sex with a man, mm-hmm. they um, there's a, a part of them will, all, that will always love that person or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like if you, I mean, and so it's like like having a kid. Obviously, I had unprotected oh, yeah. sex. Yeah, yeah. There's something about Offset mm-hmm. that will always yes, nature hooks yeah. us up. Will always appeal to Cardi B. He will always own a piece of that real estate, right? Because he he put him his DNA in her, right? Which kind of claims her, especially if she's not like you know what I'm saying a loose person who's, yes. who gets around. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Yes. It's like Offset will always have action. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> with Cardi. So that's my point. It's like you trust me, dog. I know it's scary. But you can get her back. You don't have to. It's a negotiation, man. It's like if you're negotiating for a business, man. It's scary to to make a crazy demand. But you're in a position, these these mega men. Now, fellas, you at home, you might be in a position. But odds are, you just got to figure out if you are or if you're not. Here's the thing that, that you run the risk of. What do you run the risk of? Let's say she, you, 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 uh... You come up with the in, during negotiations. You come up with the contract, mm-hmm. your offer. Mm-hmm. She 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 does she, she passes. Yeah. She passes, mm-hmm. and you step away. Well, like you know, well, I'll 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 come back. Yeah. with a different offer. Yeah, there is a possibility. Yeah, especially if your card if your girl's Cardi B. There's a possibility that somebody else yes. might slide in yes. and take your spot. That's there's the thing. You got to be willing to walk mm. because. 
it's scary. And this is this is the kind of confidence I have if I know because I I don't have this with everybody. Mm. You got to know you don't have it with everybody. Me and my uh, my dude Vic Frost came up with the theory. It's called the puzzle. Basically, there's a, only a few girls. Like a puzzle has like three sides, three holes, whatever. There's only a few girls that you're her absolute match, right? Mm. If you're that if you're that dude for her, you're a lock. You just always gonna you know every girl has that dude that she remembers that she's always gonna be in love with. So if you are that dude. You do have a little wiggle room in negotiation, but you have to know you're that dude. Mm-hmm. You got to know who her dude is. Because yeah. every girl pretty much has one. Because, yeah, even like when they're married, sometimes that was just the the backup. Oh, it's usually the backup. Yeah, they settled. Especially if they got married. Oh, yeah, yeah, they Most settled. Most women, and I'm, me and Kamal, you know, both been married. The person she marries is not her dream dude. She he, not that's always. the dude you a lot of times, not all the time. A lot of times the dude she's married is the dude that was willing to marry her. I knew a chick, uh, another chick who was brutally honest with me. Well, I don't know why chicks are so honest. It's brutally me. honest, Dave. What's up? What you got? <laughs> she told me she was married, uh, but she said when she was married, there was one guy mm-hmm. that could always get it. Always, There's he always... could always yes. get it. Yes. Yes. You know, and he's not the most responsible dude. He's not the most handsome dude. He's not, but he. There's a, always a dude, right? Yeah. So if you know you're that dude, we call it, that means you're the puzzle. You're that piece. Mm-hmm. And so in negotiations, if you know you're that dude, you keep that in your back pocket knowing you can walk. <laughs> so, but you got to know that she will try to be with somebody else. Yeah. But she'll, but it'll be wasting her time. She, she won't, she'll all, you'll always be that dude for her. Yeah. But see, the thing about it is I know for me. Yeah. If- Once he smashes, she's ruined. Or I can't bear the thought of somebody else smashing. That's why you lose. That's where you lose it. Yeah. That's the hard part for me as well. Yeah. It's like you got to be willing to to lose her and get her back defiled. Yeah. Because she's coming back like if Ka- you're that dude. Like Kanye yeah. apparently really loved Kim Kardashian. Yes, he does. And so he had to sit through a bunch of dudes. Yes, he did. And he was patient <laughs> because he knew that eventually he'd get his shot. Fellas, be patient. But my thing is, especially if your girl, and this goes deep, if your girl was a virgin, right, and you're the only one he smashed, like he also doesn't have this thing, but it, you never want to think of somebody else smashing, especially if you like the only dude to smash. It's even harder to think. But most dudes, that's not, they're not the issue. So let's not even go there. It don't matter who it is. If you really love a woman, it's hard to imagine another dude smashing. But if you can somehow wrap your mind around the fact that she, she'll be back if you're patient, you'll get another shot if you're patient. Because what she's going to do, she's going to try to replace you with another dude. Mm-hmm. And either she's going to be looking out the window all the time, not really fulfilled. Or when that breaks up, because it will, mm-hmm. you can you can present it with the same <laughs> to cut that contract for you. She might see that that wasn't such a bad idea after all. Well, yeah, just sometimes, man, it could be a lifetime. Yeah. It's, even yeah. with the second guy. Mm-hmm. Even with the second guy, and they might la- they might go the distance. That's the scary part. The the the, the Chargers and Phillip Rivers have gone the distance. Yeah. I'm sure they wish they still had Drew Brees. They sure do. That's a good point. <laughs> They've gone the distance. Yeah, they they wish they still had Drew Brees. That's the scary <laughs> part about playing this game because if he loses Cardi B and Cardi B is not going to wait around, she has so many options. That's what's scary. Yeah, oh the yeah. girl is not Cardi B. Most oh of yeah, I'm sure as soon as they as soon as Offset is officially out the picture, there's another dude coming. Yeah, and high, she can get anybody. Oh, and, he, and he'll be he could be. I'm not he will be, but yeah. he could be high level probably. Same level. She can get anybody. Yeah. So Same that's the scary offset. part yeah. about offset. So I get why you're using that tactic. Because if you if you play the wrong card, she, you you are going to have to test it. Yeah. Look at all like the high profile guys who were like Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. And then with some low level, some dancers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, they don't because, have leverage though. Because she has so many options. And then yeah. she ended up with A Rod, mm-hmm. who is pretty high in the status. Yeah. Yeah. So they all. It, it can go bad for him, real bad. Mm-hmm. If he if he if he gambles and if he could if he gambles right and then he loses her and he has a time machine, I bet he'll tell himself, "Say whatever it takes to get her." <laughs> <laughs> Even you gotta lie. Don't listen to Kyle. <laughs> Do not listen. I gotta say this right quick. Yeah. If he cheats again, though, if you lie and cheat again, you're out. He's just got to keep it tight, man. If he's gonna do this, because the thing about it is, man. You can't deal with you can't 
do Instagram models who want a career. Yeah, don't do that. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, like, like we talked about Kells. Like, yeah. you can find somebody yeah. who will do whatever you want. Yeah. Offset can find somebody who will sit they ass at home, wait for him to come to town, yeah. and bounce, and will be cool with seeing Offset eight times a year. I agree. Let me just say it like this so we can wrap it. Offset. At least see, I mean, at least try to float. <laughs> The idea of something like where I don't don't go to. I promise. I promise. I promise. At least in the negotiation, <laughs> see if you can somehow get a hall pass day. Something negotiate something to help yourself out. Because to promise, if you promise fidelity, and if and when you fail, and you and you you fail at the same thing again, she can't trust you, man. Yeah, you're gonna lose it forever. <laughs> Hey, if you're enjoying the podcast, do us a favor. Tell a friend. That's it. Costs you nothing, helps us out, and gives your friend some entertainment to make that commute a little easier or gives them some company on a workout or while they're cleaning the house so it helps them out, helps everyone out. All right, so please subscribe, leave a positive comment, and share, share, share. Let's get into this, dear Irving. Yes. Hey, guys, love the show. I saw the crazy example of someone tripping. I wanted your take. Okay, on social media about two weeks ago, this guy I know from college, he has a Facebook like all of us, I guess, but unlike the rest of us, his account started listening screenshots of conversations with various females between him and the women that were his friends and also a bunch of posts, dating sites, blah, blah, blah. I didn't even know. Okay. Uh, I sent a note on Messenger and I was worried and I was like, hey, man, what's going on? The response I got were even more explicit and ultimately asked me if I was DTF, which means down to fuck. I was very taken aback and disappointed. I said no, and I was absolutely not interested in the thought that we were friends. No further responses for me. A few days later, I got a new friend request. He stated that his ex had broken into his home and stole his phone, passport, wallet, hacked all of his accounts, created fake profiles on all of these various websites. Golly. <laughs> she's obsessed and jealous of him interacting with anybody so she's trying to ruin his life golly have you ever heard of a woman this crazy Christine from Laguna Niguel California hey come on we got listeners all over the world now man yep yep and uh, I was wondering man how, I wonder how the what the people do while they're listening to our show I know we got a guy in the Navy who's in Spain he listens um, we got a lady that uh, drives a lift. She listens while she's driving her lift and has her customers listen too, which is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Cat in Brooklyn listens while he delivers some fish. Okay. We want to know from other people, man, how do you listen to our show? What are you doing? Hit us up on the social media. I'm at Kyle Irby. I am at Angry Kamal. And let us know what you're doing when you listen to our show. Kamal, what are you what are you doing when you listen to the show? Man, I'm usually chilling, man. I take a train to get my son from school. Oh, you do? Yeah, man. You so I get that. the headphones on and I listen to it front and back. The problem is I'm coming back. Mm -hmm. He wants to talk. Uh, I'm trying to listen. So I yeah. have to, you know, try to act like I'm paying attention to him. I'm really listening to my words of wisdom. That's that's good, man. Yeah. Pretend like you're listening to your son while you're listening to the podcast. That's one way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. usually listen to it while I'm cleaning the house, man. Uh, I, I pick... Well, go ahead. Domestic work? Yeah, man. Oh, come on, dude. I wish. <laughs> I wish I didn't have domestic work, but yeah, man. I usually listen to it if I'm washing the dishes or, you know, folding laundry. I listen to, you know, any kind of thing that I don't have to think. Yeah. And I just get to listen. But I want to know what what are the people listening? What are the, what are y'all doing? Let us know. Come on, you ever heard of a woman tripping like that? Yeah. Not that bad. Not that extreme. Like, yeah, but but how? Well, here's the thing. Uh, online, mm -hmm. your wife slash ex wife, yes, is you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She is you. She yeah. knows all your information. Yeah, you know she knows. I mean, she can change your password. She knows your social, your mother's maiden name, yeah. your birthday, your address, zip code. She knows how long you've been with this job. She can apply for credit cards and all that stuff, man. Well, me and my uh, first wife were breaking up. Uh, yeah, she was into all my stuff. Yeah. You know, she wanted to know what I was doing. Uh, she was able to, uh, I was going on a cruise mm -hmm. and she was able to call Carnival. Wow. Get all the information. She knew my entire itinerary. So what I'm hearing is when they're, when you guys are breaking up, she started scratching to either get revenge or to keep you. 
Um, or yeah, definitely just to, to get gather information, mm-hmm. do her her intel. Yeah. And so now, obviously, were you she, going on carnival with ch- another chick? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Who goes on carnival with his boy? Okay. But yeah, she was able to tell me I was going. Uh, you know, yeah, she knew everything. She knew everything. Mm-hmm. You know, and so that that's the thing about it, man. And so you just have to be careful. And I'm not saying you marry, you have a secret life. It's just this is some of the things that you run the risk of if things don't go according to plan. Uh, and you have to break up, God forbid, hopefully you have someone who is mature enough to just like clean break. Yeah. Obviously this person, uh, your friend's ex-wife mm. wanted to just cause havoc. Yeah. Just, just get revenge. Now, why would a woman be that angry? He probably cheated on her or and she thinks either she thinks he cheated and she, he was, he was looking at all these women to find out she was trying to find out. If 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 she found out, try to find out if Christine was down to fuck, right? Hmm. Maybe he she was trying to find out if you are. Maybe you're one of the girls, right? So right. She, so her dumb ass don't know how to really kick game like a man. So she just like, hey, you want to fuck me? Hey, you yeah. want to fuck me? To <laughs> to, to hundred different women. She's on the fishing expedition. Exactly to find out who the other bitch is. Yeah, and to find out who's really a friend and who's not. So she's just going out to people and just seeing like what the response is. Oh mm-hmm. wow, yeah, it's been a long time. Let's get yeah, back yeah. together. Let's or, fuck, yeah. Or, yeah. Huh? And if yeah, exactly. Well, to me, what this tells me, man, it just just confirms why Offset better be careful. Because when you when a woman when you cheat on a woman when she thinks she's cheating and when she thinks she has you all to herself, her mind goes nuts. Mm. And so this dude got sloppy probably. And look at how crazy his wife got. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's just another warning of, hey man, be careful, dog. Yeah, she broke into his house. I. Believe my house is broken into. Wow. I cannot prove it. By your ex? I have no By idea. Some woman. Somebody. Mm. Your new house? No, my old one, back when I stayed stay in Inglewood. Yeah. Wow. Somebody got in there. I you just you have a feel like you ever just feel like somebody's been, been in, in my here? home. Yeah. Like yeah. uh yeah. Like and that, like uh, certain things or whatever. And certain things I used to keep under my my bed. Mm. You're just missing one. I just never saw him again. Wow. And I was like, man, so I think somebody been in here. has been in my house. Somebody was dusting for prints. Yeah. Mm. And like taking things that might aid them in the divorce or something wow. like that. But um, yeah, I, 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 I mean, I never pursued anything. Mm-hmm. I never, cause I never proved, I, I can never prove, but it just yeah. always felt like, Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess the question was, have you ever uh, heard of a woman this crazy? I haven't heard of this crazy, but yeah, man, a woman scorned. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And honestly, man, a lot of women are excellent detectives, especially if you're sloppy. Don't be sloppy. (laughs) Don't be sloppy. Hey, what's up, y'all? If you like this show, you want to help us offset some of these costs, man, you feeling the need to donate, then do just that. Go to www.patreon.com and make a donation to The MRA Podcast. That is The MRA Podcast with Kyle and Kamal, and you can find us at Patreon. Or you can catch us in the street and just be like, hey, man, I love y'all. I want to bless you with some cash and put some dollars in our pocket. You can do that. Or you can hit us on Venmo find our names and just you know bless us with dough on venmo or you could pray for us do that too <laughs> but we prefer cash if you guys have a dear irby letter send us an email at dear irby at the mra podcast.com that is dear irby at the mra podcast.com where can we find you man i'm still on the twitter at angry kamal and when, when pop drops i will let everybody know uh, the social media uh, platforms they can uh, view them. Absolutely. I'm Kyle Irby at Kyle Irby at the MRA Podcast. The website is KyleIrby.com. You can see commercials I've done, uh, television uh, appearances, all that kind of stuff. 19 national commercials, they're all there. Not all of them, but some of them are there. KyleIrby.com. The MRA Podcast.com is our website. Go check us out. You can get some merch there. Uh, you can communicate with us there. Uh, man, this was fun. Ladies. We love you, fellas. Be a man at all times. Deuces. MRA.